Trivialing LUTs are having multiple versions of Eclipse color grade is a very straightforward process in Final Cut. In this video I will show you a neat trick that allows you to do exactly this. And the best thing is that you can trim your clip, put it somewhere else, apply transitions and markers just as you would do with a normal clip. Okay, so how do you do it and what am I talking about? Well, the feature I'm talking about is called Auditions. The Final Cut manual says Auditions allow you to preserve the alternative edits without affecting the other clips in the timeline. And I couldn't put it much better. Let's say I'm working on a project and I want to try out three different LUTs. For example, I have a clip shot in S-Log3 and three different S-Log3 conversion LUTs. Sony's conversion LUT, my own conversion LUTs and the EOS Alpha LUTs that emulate Canon colors for Sony cameras. Link in the video description. But as you can see, when I select the LUTs from the LUT browser, I cannot easily compare them. To create an audition, go to Clip and select either Duplicate as an audition or duplicate from original. The latter will create a new version without any effects applied. However, I already set up a signal chain in my inspector, so I will go with duplicate as an audition. Alternatively, you can press option Y. I do that again too, so I have three versions in total. I bring up the audition by pressing Y. Now I go to the first clip and apply Sony's conversion LUT. Maybe tweak the exposure tab and that's it. Then I go to the next version and I could press Y again and select the next one. However, there's a shortcut to cycle through the versions. Press Ctrl, Option and left or right arrow to cycle through. I go ahead and apply my neutral conversion LUT and adjust the exposure. Lastly, I will add the EOS Alpha LUT. Now to compare the different LUTs, I can simply press Ctrl, Option and right arrow to cycle through them. As mentioned before, you can cut and slice your clip and even apply transitions. The addition remains the same. Once you chose and pick the version you like, you can finish the audition. But please keep in mind that this will discard all the other versions. So make sure you won't need them again. Okay, but what if you want your timeline to be more organized? What if you want to rename the different versions, for example? Let's say I have this clip I was working on and now I'm not quite sure whether or not I like the orange and teal look I introduced. To alter this, I press option Y to duplicate this clip as an audition. Then I change my color grade like so. But I've been grading for ages now, so I want to ensure I can start where I left off tomorrow morning. The first thing I do is rename my version. To do this, I open the index and click on the name. Now, I will enter my custom name instead of the copy number. I call this one orange and teal and the other one experimental. Now I just remembered that I wanted to increase the contrast on the experimental grade and I wanted to add sharpening on the orange and teal grade. I go to experimental and add a note, add contrast. Then I go to the orange and teal and add a note, add sharpening. And as you can see, only the referring nodes will be displayed when I cycle through the versions. Well, that's it. And if you want to know about the secret weapon to master color grading in Final Cut, you should watch this video next.